We talk about the man who's behind bars tonight, accused of shooting his bow and arrow at two dogs, killing one and severely injuring the other. WJCL's Chelsea McDonald is working for you with more on this story. And Chelsea, what was the man's reasoning? Well, Dwayne Gilchrist told deputies the dogs were threatening him, but deputies say the household dogs were about 40 yards away from him. He's now charged with two counts of animal cruelty. A lawn once filled with two dogs, Bella and Django, is now empty. Effingham deputies say this man, Dwayne Gilchrist, shot both dogs as he walked through Roebling Road hunting trail behind this house. That's a terrible thing to happen to, to dogs. People should not treat them that way. And to shoot one by accident would be one thing, but to deliberately shoot one and then the other, it's just very sad because our dogs are part of our family. Deputy saying Gilchrist shot and killed Bella first, then reloaded his crossbow and fired at Django. The pet owner found Django with the arrow still in his body. The pet owner is too distraught to talk on camera, but neighbor Bobby Overstreet is sickened with the thought that this could have happened to her dog. My heart would be breaking and to think that an arrow was still stuck in my dog and you had to go through surgery and not knowing if even that is going to cure him. Um, it, it's a it's a very heavy and devastating loss. There's no way to, at 40 yards with a crossbow that you can say that something was threatening or menacing you and still have time to reload and shoot the second dog. Although deputies say Gilchrist's actions are inexcusable, he believes this could have been avoided. Ultimately, it could have been avoided by making sure that the dogs do stay contained where they're supposed to be at. We do have a leash law that doesn't make the, the owners of the dogs responsible for this, but you know it's kind of up to you as well to make sure that your animals stay contained to keep something like this from happening again.